Hello, Big Mocker. I've been eagerly waiting to show you my idea. My name is Randall Oxendine, and I'm in the DCBS program at Full Sail University. The title is Food for Otaku. It is a web series for casual to hardcore fans. Whether you love anime, manga, or food, this web series can educate and set your best test buds rolling, all wrapped with an entertaining bow. The series is about a girl who loves anime and is looking to replicate the dishes often seen in those fandoms. She is called Otaku Girl. She looks for the authentic, authentic recipes of local Japanese cuisines in order to better understand the cultural significances of those foods and why they are featured so heavily in the fandoms. The series will have six episodes. Each episode would start off with a quick visual of scenes from anime with the food that, for that episode. Next will be the interview where Otaku Girl learns the recipe and is given a history lesson depending on the restaurant. The host will watch and participate while the food is prepared. Later, the host will go grocery shopping for the ingredients to show the audience where, what the ingredients look like and as a reminder of what's needed to make it. Finally, the host will be home while putting groceries away. She speaks about the day and goes to relax and watch or read something from her fandom, ending with an image of the chef's creation versus the anime food. The host builds up the audience with descriptions and anime images. The climax is when the host is learning where the food originated and how it's prepared. The resolution comes when the host talks about the info received and sits down to watch a show or read a book, popping on the screen a final image of the anime food versus the real food prepared. I watch a lot of anime and often find myself hungry for the foods I've seen. Uh, the types of food in the, in the series are seen in anime often. I felt others who love anime would love to have recipes and see those recipes made. While I want to find the res best recipe for those otaku foods, I also wanted to bring to the series the history of these foods, not only for the viewers, but for myself. The characters are the anime lover, aka, aka the otaku host and mentor these two characters drive the story the host will be female and will be the same person throughout the series she will possess great people skills and an interesting personality she will have knowledge of different types of anime and will be able to name different foods and shows seen with them off the top of their head the mentor will change often as this person is the expert chef or restaurant owner who will be interviewed by the host during that particular episode. This person may also be the same person preparing the meals. The motivator within the series is the love of anime and manga. Otaku Girl loves both. She is also motivated by the delicious looking drawn food. Wanting to know more about these foods, while they're, why they're used so much in anime, and how to make them at home so she and other otaku can taste the recipes seen in the show they love. Since I started working on this project, I've changed the title. It was going to clarify the type of otaku, but since the series is based in America, here otaku is mostly associated with, these obsessed, with those obsessed with anime and manga. I also was going to have Otaku Girl prepare the recipes, but found that having the experts prepare them will make the more, show more informative and easy to follow. And since preparation steps can be talked about while it's being made, it cuts the show's recording time as she and the mentor were going to talk about the steps before going home to create it. Felicia Day will be a producer on the series. She is perfect for this project because she has a lot of experience working with web series. For our production company, we hope to use Geek and Sundry site and YouTube channel created by Felicia Day and others because it's a palace of entertainment for undergraduate, I mean, underappreciated ways of fun. Geek and Sundry offer series for many types of geeks, but they're missing the anime and manga geeks. Adding the series will expand their viewership. We'll be using Cyberlink Power Director 12 to edit all the images and recordings. It's easy to use and the price is in our budget. Our target market are anime and manga fans, Japanese fanatics, and the food lover. 
the audience will benefit from, by learning more about their fandom's foods and learning new recipes. Our plan for marketing is Hulu and Funimation ads. Both streaming services show ads. Social sites such as Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, places where we'll have our own pages. Uh, we will also advertise through discussion boards and blogs. We plan to create specific hashtags that will spread and lead others to our series. Taking advantage is a good way of uh, share for share, in a good way of share for share. Uh, on popular pages, I will add a link to lead potential viewers to my page where uh, we'll have up-to-date information uh, about the series. I will also create a promotional video ad for YouTube aimed towards my target audience. Uh, we can t take the numbers of viewers from our introduction, the likes and dislikes to see who's excited and who isn't. We'll also check daily how the hashtag is being used. We will approach Funimation for cross-promotion because they are well-known and respected by anime fans. I would like to ask Geek and Sundry to help market the series within their sites and projects, which will help bring recognition to the series and build an audience for multiple types of fandoms. Big Mocker. There are many projects pitched to, being pitched to you, but my Food for Otaku web series is the best choice because there is none other like it. It combines a fandom, a history lesson, and a cooking show. While there are tutorials on how to cook anime food, the history behind them and the lack of an interesting host make for a plain YouTube video. My web series will give a behind-the-scenes look at the foods while including a tutorial. Big Mocker, thank you for your time. I hope to hear back from you soon.